pals. We are here to watch the finale to season two of Invincible. Thanks so much for joining us again. Here we go. What is happening? Oh. Who this? Yeah. Oh. They are useless. They're getting messed up quick. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hoo hoo. Ah. You sussed it out real quick. He's back, baby. Back with a vengeance. You all aren't even ready. Oh, oh, maybe they are. That makes sense. It is a prison built for a vil a Viltrumite, so. Just kidding. Yeah, oh my god. Whoa. They didn't tell you who I was, did they? Enough. Krieg. Is it just a test? Oh, the guy's oh. bleeding from the ceiling. You know I wouldn't miss this. You flatter me. It seems you've passed inspection. Finally fit for your execution. What? How does that work? They want him to be well to be executed. Why? Them's the rules. What well, an excellent song. song choice. Ah. I feel that. Yeah. I feel all that. <laughs> I know. I was like, yeah, I got a little bit of jelly in the belly. A little bit of tire to admire. <gasps> you got a guy. Oh. oh, God. What? You'll feel... <laughs> oh, it's just some rando. I thought that was going to be a character that's actually part of the show. I love that. That's far enough. There's a chance you could kill me before I snap her neck. Oh. You could try if you like. He looks so attractive. Is the Mark Grayson of this dimension a risk taker? <laughs> <laughs> that sterling laugh. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I'm blocking all signals within these four walls. Okay. I wouldn't want us to be... Interrupted. Wouldn't they already know at this point? Presumably he's eliminated all other signals in the house. I'm warning you. You really don't remember who I am. When we met before, you hadn't done this to me. But it's, uh, a, it's such a look, though. You're that guy. That guy? <laughs> That's all you remember uh -oh. of me? That uh -oh. I was that guy? Oh, no. Don't hurt his mom. I didn't do anything to you. Your machine blew yeah. up. Oh my goodness! Oh! Did the baby get hurt? He's just scared. I had the best doctors in a dozen dimensions. They saved my life, rebuilt my body, but even they couldn't fix this! Embrace yourself. I felt like he did that to himself, though. I know. He totally Icarus his way into that look. Oh. I don't like to hear babies How cry. How powerful like that. is he? We haven't. Really I know. Seen it. Oh! Oh shit. Dang. Oh, where are you? When are you? When are you? Exactly. Are there dinosaurs? That's the first thing we're all thinking, right? I know. <laughs> Some T-Rex going to come out of the bushes and try to Dang eat it. him. Dang it. He sent you back 65 it's million. It's the damnedest thing. If I wasn't looking right at it. I thought sapiens were extinct. Oh, my God. I want to taste. We can share. I smelled it first. This is crazy. This is wild. No one's eating me. <gasps> it speaks. <sighs> I don't care if it sings. I only care how it tastes. How dare ah! you? If it talks, it thinks. Ah, there oh, we go. That's the vegan dinosaur. It flies too. Its wings must be invisible. Oh, how uncouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I don't think it was fun for him. <laughs> That's quite scary. If you hurt him, I swear I'll kill me. Of course you would. I have no intention of hurting your brother. <laughs> this baby's not having it. Like, I let know. go of me, bitch. <laughs> I'm wondering if he's gonna come into his power and just be like, bop. So like Harry Potter. <laughs> so do the favor Aww. and die. Oliver! No, no, no! no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. She's wow, his hitting mom her head like crazy in this. Is a trooper. What? what just happened? Whoa. It's very Spider-Man. I know. I don't even want to ask what he's slipping. <laughs> Talk about your bad luck, Prof Ock. Oh, shit. Are you okay? I didn't mean to. Hey, thanks, pal. Maybe he is like Spider-Man. I saw the portal. I know you're from another dimension. Trust me, I'm the good guy here. And Mr. Mechanical Arms is not. I don't basically know. Doc Ock. He's a bad guy. Yeah, I know. You're okay, Oliver. It's going to be okay. There's no way to know that for sure. What kind of mother lies to her son like that? Like, 
Every single one. I said you were safe as long as your son suffers and dies like he deserves to. And speaking of... Oh, he's bringing him back. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was oh, wondering if it was mind. like a temporary portal thing or if he's deliberately bringing him back. One wrong move and they fall. Oh, oh my gosh. Dang. I've got a dimension all picked out. That's some Doctor Strange level power. You're not going to hurt them and you're not going to hurt me. Mm, I don't know about that. I, I'm sorry. I didn't remember you. But I remember that night. You were trying to save me. Maybe the accident changed you, but you were a good person trying to do a good thing. There we go. Trying to save you? After all the pain and suffering you've caused? The lives you've taken? Not this one! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. He needs to bulk his arms up. <laughs> his arms look tiny compared to his big head. <laughs> He's like a T-Rex. Uh-oh. I won't build my utopia with blood. It's all coming back. Yeah. Justice will come for you. For all the friends we've lost to your senseless cruelty. For all the families you... Let's do this, Mark. I missed lunch because of that riot in Bangkok. <sighs> Way ahead of you. Oh, my goodness. Daddy, I miss mommy. Me too, man. <gasps> Chainsaw scared. What a name. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, what a nickname. So he's just a big fat jerk in every other dimension. Yeah, except for this one. You actually thought you could hide from me? I don't like the cape. Oh my God, look at you. Capes are cool. Haven't you seen Incredibles? You're making me feel bad, man. I'll tell you what. Oh no, you're not. No! Oh, no! Damn. Like, no mercy at all. Oh, that's sickening. I can't even, like, wrap my head around the... He's inherited all the knowledge, but all the pain as well. Yeah, exactly. Like, all the memories and everything. Oh, my Good God. Good God. Golly. Oh my god. Oh no. I understand his rage. <laughs> yeah. Dang. That's awful. But the it was wicked. It was like it was like a samurai thing. That was pretty wild. And yet he stays alive in all of these realities. Is it living though? Yeah, true. He's a murderer! A monster! I would never save him! Never! He deserves to die! Right now! Oh! Good, good one. You hit him with a super soaker. It's over! It'll never be over! Okay. Until I've made you pay for everything you've done. Not the same person! I am done playing your game. Are they? <laughs> Let them go, and you could take your best shot. I won't even fight back. But what would be the fun in that? You can't hurt me with that. What? Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh. He got him. Got him. Almost like Where some did Last he of end Us. Up? Yeah. Uh, looking environment. Yo. <laughs> this is it a zombie one? Mind trick. <laughs> You might need that. Well, I guess maybe He's not. Invincible. You're invincible. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. You might need that knife, though, just in case. <laughs> just thinking of myself, okay? Don't ever it's drop a zombie a weapon. one. It's got to be a zombie one. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. I'm a bit surprised they didn't make the clicking sound. Just fly. <laughs> oh. Hey, well, She's scrappy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Whoa, lady. Whoa. There's not a lot not you can do. Oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just. Oh, oh man. How do you beat him? In so many other dimensions, you join your husband and son when they slaughter millions wow. and make the earth burn. For real? I wow. Like, come on. Your family's legacy is blood. Maybe she didn't have a choice. Not me. I raised the boy who defied his father and saved this planet. Facts. Yep. These worlds are extremely different. We don't have talking dinosaurs in this one. Yeah. So. This is the one world where Mark is good, and you're the one who's bad. What? 
Oh, she flipped the script. You're so angry because you turned out rotten here and Mark is the hero for once. Uh-oh, his brain might explode. You don't know anything! Oh my God. <laughs> Ollie, I'm gonna need you to step up. I know you're a baby, but like. Not oh my goodness. Your son is the monster! Do you not see what you just did? Oh no. Okay. Your attack accomplished nothing. I'm okay. I'm going to make your son hurt. What the f we're gonna make this child hurt. Not the baby. So I, like he opens another portal as soon as I come out with no gap in between them, so it's just a tunnel to somewhere else. I don't know if my heart can take this. Oh, gosh. Dang. You could take those guys. Oh, maybe not that guy. No, I mean, you're a man who dresses like a bat. Oh, my God. And your name is... You know, I mean, like, don't you think that's kind of lazy? <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he's getting really beat up. He's getting wrecked. What choice does he have if he's trying to get back to his mom? Know, he's got to play the like, game. Her arm is broken. She might be losing a lot of... <laughs> oh, you, you came to check? Did you? Punch him in the face. There we go. There we go. This is over! Mark. Mom. Dang. Yeah, you do, do not hurt his Mess family. Him Mess him up, dude. You remember those doctors I told you about? The ones who rebuilt my body? Dang, I'm... Oh, yeah, no. did they rebuild him to be, like, part Viltrumite? They also improved it! Oh. Why do you think I sent you across the multiverse? What, to level the playing field? I don't want you to die in some random dimension. Mark, I'm gonna need you to Super Saiyan Ultra Instinct right now. This is just like season one. He's getting so oh messed up. Oh my god. Mark <sighs> is the hero that constantly takes a pounding. Come on, dude. <laughs> oh, come on. This doesn't end until you and your family are dead. Uh, Stop threatening my family! Yeah, no, just... Uh. Oh. Oh, we got him before he could portal nice. him. You have no idea what I've been through. Yeah. I <laughs> get that. Facts. How much I've been holding back. Oh, ho, ho, shit. Hey, yeah, fought a Viltrumite. Got yeah. his ass kicked. But also, he was holding back the whole time. <laughs> holding back on him. Yeah. No, but on the Viltrumite, too. Is he dead yet? <laughs> oh, man. He's gone full Viltrumite yeah, on him. Yeah, he's... Oh my god. Is that it? Is he done? Dang. Jesus Christ. He, that's a whole. Oh. He made like a full painting. Well, how's he going to get back now? Oh, yeah. He went all the way. Broke the one rule. Ew. Did you, oh no. Oh god. Don't throw up on him. Oh god. Don't throw up on him. Go throw up somewhere else. Oh no. But if he's crossed the line once, then does that mean that it makes it easier to cross the line going forward? Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's probably the fear he has. Yeah. I thought you were stronger. Oh, shit. He thought he could take it. Oh, no. Where did he end up? Some wasteland. Yeah. Post-apocalyptic, like Mad Max or something. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh Way God. to show up in the nick of time. Is she dead? All clear. One injured woman and child. Okay. Phew. Ma'am, are you okay? Uh. What do you think? Oh. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh. He's Debbie. so lucky he has moms who love him all across the universe. Where's Mark? I don't know. But let's, let's get you somewhere safe first. I guess I'm not going to explain it. You, but get the medics in here. Now the listening devices that got wrecked by you know big brain guy wouldn't yeah. that be a cue to them to like get over there? You know what I mean? Yeah, they sure took that time. They're not gonna explain. Oh it. god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Indeed. He made me do it. Uh. 
No. It was an accident, but he made me do it. It was self-defense. I thought he was stronger. He told me he was stronger. Where am I? What are the implications? When are you? Exactly. Although judging by the dinosaur thing, it seems like the time is actually the same. It's just different dimensions. I can't get home now. I'm gonna die here. Oh god, that's... Okay. These are not helpful thoughts. Oh man. <laughs> They're both getting beaten up. They love mustaches. Sir, please. I've looked up to you since I was a child. Uh -oh. Don't make me hurt you. Uh -oh. Is he about to wreck them? Ooh. I merely wanted to stand. I'll walk out of here on my own. Don't try anything. Mm. I feel like he's gonna try something. I know. Just cut me some slack. Jeez. <laughs> if they can team up, come on. Holy crap. My plan worked. What? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> to save you. Face front. To get you out. Yeah. For you, man. I'm here for you. <laughs> Talk soon. Talk soon. <laughs> See you later, TTYL. <laughs> Bear hugs and kisses. <laughs> Somewhere on this planet, there's gotta be something. Fly around. Maybe something on Angstrom's butt. Mm. I was wondering about that. Uh-oh. What is this? Why is it green? Oh. Oh, shit. What? 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 Are they older? They're older? You look terrible. Aw. Eve, is that you? Yes, just not the me you know. Why is she so much older? It took them this long to figure out the tech to come, maybe? The only logical reason for you to be stuck in this dimension would be if you injured or killed Angstrom Levy during your fight. We knew this long ago. It just happened. Maybe for you. For us, it was 20 years ago. Ah. Uh, wow. <gasps> okay, you His said it. brother's gonna be older. The world we come from, the world where you've been missing all these years, it's... it's way worse. Not good. Yeah. Oh, no. We've already said too much. Oh, Any more, shit. and we could disrupt the time stream. I'm opening a portal that will send you home. You called it. So he gets sent home at his present yeah. time. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. And they're gonna disappear from existence, basically. This version of them. Yeah. Unless it's just like, is a timeline split kind of thing. Maybe. So they'll always be from that timeline when he disappeared. Oh, the feelings. Feelings. Mark. Mark! She can't, oh. Can she say something? Mark, Kiss wait. Him? No, okay, never mind. I love you, Mark. I have for a very long time, and when you disappeared, I was devastated. I should have told you. How do you feel? I. No, don't tell me. Tell her. Tell, tell her. her. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Tell her. Tell her you love her. Or tell her you don't love her. Just tell her something. Tell her something so that she can go on with her life. So that she knows. Yeah. Now go. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. I'm glad they did that. Yeah. It's breaking the rules a little bit, but... But how weird must it be to be, like, 20 years older than see the guy that you, like, were in love with? Is it over? Yeah. <sighs> oh, Mark. Aww. You do what you had to do, man. You just created a timeline that was chaotic for your friends. I'm still learning to navigate the world of in-person interactions. Well, it shows. <laughs> but your transformations are a problem. You've expressed that yourself. Mm-hmm. And I fix problems. It's what I'm good at. It's who <laughs> I am. Every man. <laughs> I care hey, for now. you. We're just trying. It's our love language, okay? We fix you. Where's this? I for... Oh. oh. Yeah. The immortal. <laughs> Die. <laughs> immortal? <gasps> I'm sorry. I never told you. What? What? I always kept oh. hidden and lived through a copy. Just in That's case. what I was saying this whole time. Oh, I've been saying that. Yeah, you're right. I was going to walk away, become someone else. But I couldn't. Because of you. Do you want to live... This life together? She's still in her outfit, which is interesting. I'm sorry I didn't say so happy. Happy. It's okay. Everything's okay. That's how I'd feel. It's like, I love you the uh, most. Women, they start with a slap. Psh, how could you not tell me? Guys are like, I'm just happy you're here. God damn it. Don't do that to me again. Don't do me like that. <laughs> you got this? I can lift a truck. Well, you know, a small one, at least. Whoa. All 
right. Oh my gosh. Shit. Can you oh, are again? you stuck? Oh, are you stuck? Well, the only way out is forward. Find another way out. Yeah. Did you bring snacks? <sighs> And water. Clearly not. Don't know why my first thought is always snacks. Oh god, that's encouraging. Is who that him? Your dad? Well, the body still looks. Jeez. Okay, never mind. Oh, dad. You're right. Wow, look at you. Huh? What the hell? Who has succumbed to my influence? Bow to go. Uh, do we bow? Wait. You're both female. <laughs> and? What? Is that a problem? I must inhabit a living male. Why? Why sexist? To escape the curse of this two. Hilarious. That's sexist. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just looks like you, got, you don't have a choice, guy. Yeah. I'm not my dad. I'm not my dad. Man, he's been fighting this from the beginning. Yeah. I mean, maybe there's some way that Your he father. can will be executed. Marry and all of it together, to you know? Earth. You will assume his mission and Seems like he's fighting a new level for himself. Move. It's going faster than he's ever gone. Yeah. Oh. Dang. I guess that'll keep him awake. He's got like major PTSD. Oh, right back together. Mm-hmm. Get that quick with it. Wow, it's like nothing ever happened in here. Maybe you should just move. I don't know. It's like almost disturbing that it's so perfect. You know, it's like it never happened. Yeah. I'm quitting college. Mark, it doesn't make sense. I'm missing all my classes, and the more I think about it, yeah. what's the point? Am I gonna be a dentist? A super dentist. College does a lot more than just prepare you for a job. Mark? I can't. I have to get better. I have to learn how to, have control. to control myself. Yeah. Do you understand? Mark. Do you? I do. I have no idea how you test that, how you get better at like, controlling yourself, other than being faced with that situation again. This is it. No? Oh my god, Mark! Oh! This is the moment I've been waiting for. It's the moment everybody's been waiting for. <laughs> Nobody likes Amber at all! They just want this. But you know I'm always here for you. If you ever need a shoulder, I, I've got two. <laughs> Oh. oh. There's something else I want to talk to you about. Okay. Oh, God, what's he going to say? <gasps> oh, he doesn't take it. It's nothing. I'm sorry. Oh, oh you son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Okay. Prison break. I don't know why he's waiting so long. He could do this very easily. We are on the same side now. No, we're not. You turned against the Empire. Mark told me all about it. You saw Mark? Yes, on Earth. Leave him out of this. This isn't his fight. Let the boy have a moment of peace. That's not happening. Yeah. They're going to execute you, bro. Yeah. They are, yes. Most people would be more worried about that. I'm not a Viltrumite anymore. By blood only. shame and regret for my actions. I see the suffering of lesser beings and it... Pains him. Upsets me. Yeah. Do something about it then. Yeah, you've changed. The pain and destruction I caused was immeasurable. And your people are doing that on a thousand different planets right now. But you can help us stop them. I deserve death. Oh, come on, dude. Okay. Yet. Okay, here we go. What is it? I think. I miss my wife. Oh my god. Oh, which one? No, we know what he's talking. Don't ruin the moment, Kirk. We know what he's talking about. Oh, Aww. wow. That got me a lot more than I was expecting it to. Oh, I don't think she's going to take him back though. After everything that's happened, I just don't know if she can find it in her heart. Maybe she doesn't, but that's still a remarkable moment for him because that requires a, a degree of empathy that we didn't think was possible in him. Yeah. Like the fact that he has, he feels any sort of remorse is huge. To long for this woman who he thought was an insect at one point, that's ginormous. Like that's well beyond the scope of anything we could have imagined. Yeah, he's now, really changed. And so irrespective of whether or not she takes him back, that's almost irrelevant to me. Obviously we can hope, but 
he's awful, or he was. And so he needs some kind of punishment, right? The fact that he got there, though, is tremendous. That's huge. And, wow. And, and and so we know the trajectory of where this is headed now. I'm happy to see more of Invincible's mom. I'm yeah. excited for that for season three, for yeah. sure. <laughs> Don't do Are that to okay? me. Shh, 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 shh. Don't do that to me. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about the episode. I really hope it doesn't take as long to get to season three, but there are so many things now to look forward to. You know what I mean? They had you hook, line, and sinker with the with the romance thing. Like, oh yeah, because they, they couldn't do it just yet. It, it's like I always knew that that would not be fulfilled this season. They had to give you something for season three. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. Am I frustrated? Yes. Do I understand why they did that? Yes. So, okay, fine. At least I really appreciated it when future Eve showed up and was like, hey, yeah. <laughs> just so you know, I'm there yeah. and I'm waiting for you and I'm interested in you, you dumb boy. Yeah. Like, figure it out. At worst, it kind of nudged him forward in that direction. You know what I yeah. mean? Because otherwise he would just be like, oh, in my feelings. But at least he has that to maybe take him somewhere positive eventually because it's sort of just, it'll percolate for a while. Yeah, and I think it's also for her because she's in limbo mm -hmm. and she feels so strongly about him. Either way, it's going to put her out of her misery, right? Like either he's going to that say... That sounds horrible the way you're phrasing No, but phrase. like either he's going to say, I like you and then, you know, they can have a relationship together and then they'll be happy or he says, I don't think of you that way. Yeah. You're totally friend zoned and then she can move on well, and like either way it gives her some relief exactly yeah just uh, whenever i hear the phrase put them out of their misery it sounds like death, death. like <laughs> a, a figurative death yeah as it were what's the name of the brainiac guy the, the, the big I head i forget okay well anyway we we know who we're talking oh, about now I, that guy from... is so like he i thought he was gonna last more than this episode i didn't think he was gonna go out the way that he did and the, so the writers the showrunners the filmmakers involved in making this surprised me because I didn't think it was going to end just like that. Because of the way he'd been built up for a while, like kind of flashing an image of him towards the end of an episode, kind of like the way they did Thanos at the end of Marvel films. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking it's going to be as epic on the scale of like Avengers, right? Maybe not t to that scale. Maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but more than what they did here. And so they kind of caught him like Snoke. <laughs> in episode eight of Star Wars. And I was like, oh, but my feelings here are better than episode eight of Star Wars insofar as it did a lot emotionally to Mark. It wasn't just like they killed him, now we're done, moving on. He's having to live with this guilt and evolve from it. Right. And you know? I mean, honestly, what could he have done to f save the situation? What could he have done apart from take this guy out? He was not going to stop until he had hurt Mark. And not only just hurt Mark or killed Mark, but like killed his whole family as well. Mm -hmm. And it would have been one thing if he was like, I just want to take you out. But the fact that he was willing to kill his mom and kill his brother or hurt them was yeah. just too much. Yeah. But yes, you're right. It is really interesting the way this has affected him because now he's crossed the line. Yeah. And it's like, what does that mean going forward? But it's heartening to see him take it really seriously and get really affected by that. Because I think we can have faith that, you know, this is something that he's going to think long and hard about doing again, if ever. One thing that hasn't directly been addressed, they kind of mentioned it, is Mark is so important. He's like the John Connor of this universe. Yeah. He's so important that his friends had to develop time travel to go and save him from this other portal where he ended up. Mm -hmm. Like that hasn't been acknowledged by Mark himself. Like that's how important he is. He wasn't disposable. Like we needed to get you back in order to correct the timeline. Right, like, yeah. Like that's how crucial you are to all of this. And he's all, woe is me. It's like, no dude, but like you gotta get past yourself. This, there's too much at stake here for you to be stuck in that. And so I'm glad that he's found his way. I mean, naturally that's where the episode would have to go. He's found his way to a place where he's like, I gotta get stronger, I gotta get better. Cool. Yeah. 
Like, let's do that. <laughs> Speaking of getting stronger, though, I have really enjoyed his mom's arc throughout the whole season. Because she went from yeah. being someone who was so devastated, so broken by by the revelation of, like, her relationship with Nolan and, and what he said about her and all of that. And now she's the one who is the pillar of strength. Like, she was she was strong for little baby Oliver, which I kind of feel like maybe Oliver was the best thing to happen to her right now because it's given her, like, a renewed sense of purpose. Like, because mm -hmm. she's a really great mom. Something to fight for. Exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, with a new little bitty person to take care of, she's so focused on being the best mom ever for, yeah. for Oliver. But to see her at the end fight back against that guy, knowing full well that <laughs> he's so much stronger than her, but she had to fight. And then seeing how well she handled it with her recovery and everything. And then also being there for Mark and being a good supportive mother that we know her to be and just kind of, you know, listening to him and, and being his support yeah. and all of that. I think it's it's a really great arc for her character. No, I think you're right. I think that it, she has come a long way from like just being also woe is me and just yeah. devastated and stuck in that cycle to now being this person who's like standing up to a superhero, yeah. even if it means her life. The level of strength she demonstrated there was actually remarkable. I, I was completely buying into the reality of it, even though it's a cartoon. I'm like, I'm buying into her situation and her peril. I'm looking at Mark, who's just like freaking out. And it's just wild, the, the dichotomy, you know, the what? juxtaposition of those two. Well, if you think about it, right, like he inherited superior genetics and physical strength from his father, but equally you could say that he inherited empathy and resilience and emotional strength perhaps from his mother. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, I like that. You know what was remarkable about this is action-wise, I mean, they did send him to different dimensions. I don't know the complexities of that in terms of animation and that mm -hmm. process, right? But so much of it took place inside of his house. You compare that to the end of season one of the battle between Omni-Man and Invincible and just how crazy the production value was on that. Yeah. Right? It was just so epic. And this mostly took place in the house. I didn't mind that. I thought it was actually cool how they managed to create so something so epic within such a small space. Well, the stakes were so high and it was exactly. so perilous, yeah. you know, like with Oliver and with his mom and everything and like being scared for them. Yeah. And then also having the sense of like, oh my God, he... he can't seem to win. This guy is so strong. Yeah. They did such a good job of just ramping up the tension on that. Well, in, instead of like scale, they went for emotional stakes. Yeah. Right? Because it's his mom, Oliver, and then of course the battle with himself now having to re realize what he did and the, the lengths he went to to stop this guy and the guilt he's overcoming. I would say that's as big or bigger than what we got at the end of season one. Mm. You know, he's really come a long way he's he gets his ass kicked so much during oh the God. show like to the point that i i, I don't know how i feel about it anymore because it happens so often i'm like he keeps getting wrecked i know um but i suppose you know what doesn't kill you you know makes you stronger so there's that <laughs> <laughs> i mean he comes back from it every single time true. and hopefully he's learning something from it yeah, resilience is definitely one of his superpowers yes he's got the rocky the 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 um italian stallion you know, whatever that is, or, you know, you keep hitting me, but I keep coming back. You know? Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> that scene between uh, Monster Girl and Rudy was interesting because I understand what they're aiming for, what they're trying to accomplish. She's like, look, don't just treat me like one of your things that you have to fix. Like, I'm a person. I want to just have regular conversation as well. But like for him, regular conversation is taking measures to fix things. Like that's what he knows. Right. He doesn't know how to talk about Ninja Turtles. Like he knows how to adjust things to improve them, you know? And so it's like, she's like, I just want you to talk to me. It's like, okay, I want to fix you. Like that's what he was doing. Like, well, he's still learning too, right? How to human. Yeah, exactly. He's so smart. He's so good at so many things. And like, yeah, the thing that he's really good at is solving problems and fixing them. But yeah. now he's having to learn the complexities of what it means to be a human being who's multifaceted and can have emotions right. and talk to a girl about other things, well, you know? Yeah, well, focusing on the simple pleasures rather than the high-stakes stuff. 
right? Exactly. Because like Hishigo is, I just want to be taken out on a date. He goes like, okay, for my date, I'd like to put you in this box and fix you. <laughs> like, like I feel like it would always go back to that. Like his zeros and ones would equate to helping her be better so she survives and not, you know, regresses to a younger and younger state. Right. But it's an interesting, you know, dichotomy. It's an interesting relationship that they're showing there. Like he's very sweet. He just want, he's, he wants to do right by her. That's all he cares about. I wish she could see that and respond with more empathy along the way because she's so in her feelings and so angry about it. It's like, can't you see like he just he loves you and he just yeah. wants to help you? Yeah. But, you know, she's she's a complicated girl. She's a complicated woman. And she's just like, yeah, you know, I get that. But also, like, I want to feel like I still am empowered, that I still have agency and also that like you, you can just be my friend or my partner. Or you whatever. can have all the agency you want after I fix you. <laughs> <laughs> have agency until your heart's content. I right? just need to make you better. <laughs> I mean, they were really leaning into the whole relationships thing in this episode as well because, you know, we had uh, Kate coming back to Immortal. Mm -hmm. You were right. You you called it from the start, which was like you're like, oh well, if I if I were her, I would just have my original self just hanging out somewhere else. And like, of course, that seems like such a no no duh. That's a really great idea. So to have her come back, I wonder what implications that's going to have for him. If maybe they're just going to be like, you know what, let's just go off the grid and live together for a while. Well, the rule I've noticed with these things is in order for things to be effective emotionally, the undo button has to be far away. For instance, the end of an Avengers Infinity War, right? You kill off half the Avengers or whatever. Yeah. You wait till almost the end of part two to that film to bring them all back. Sure. Right? So you have time to feel some, some sense of grief before you undo it. Mm -hmm. And so they did something similar here where they killed her like two or three episodes ago. So for a couple of episodes of watching him go through his grief, you you buy into the possibility that she's actually gone and dead. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas if they did it right at the end of that episode, it wouldn't be as meaningful. No, it wouldn't. You know? Absolutely not. No. But... It's like, oh, of course, come on. <laughs> like, of course she's alive. <laughs> she had a funeral and everything. I was just a little bit perplexed as to why she was in her outfit as opposed to just like shorts and a t-shirt or whatever or a sweater. Yeah. This whole thing with the pharaoh that came back to life, I didn't really understand what the significance of that was. I'm sure that's going to come back in just a season seed. three. Just a seed for season three. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. I wonder if he's going to be some sort of like really big maybe super villain or something. I just thought it was funny that he was like, like, wait, but you're women. I cannot possess the body of a woman. It's like, why not? But uh, also good save for them. One of the things they brought up here is that Mark had been fighting to not be his father the entire, his, the entire journey that we've been on with him, right? Yeah. He's been fighting that. And what was interesting is, especially to, to see this towards the end of the episode, is his father has been kind of fighting something similar. We just haven't been as witness to it, which is he's been fighting his resistance to be like a human being, to have sure. a heart, you yeah, know, to, exactly. have, to, to have empathy. And it's just slowly kind of taken over him over time. And his son is the one that really pushed him in that direction. It's kind of wild to finally see him like go towards the direction we've been wanting him to go. You know what's so funny? So my best friend has only just recently started watching Invincible and yeah. she just finished season one yeah. and she's all like, oh my God, I can't believe what Nolan did. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm so shocked. And I said, wait until you watch season two and then we'll talk. But I think... As far as Nolan goes, he's also had a tremendous arc. If you yeah. look at where he was at the end of season one, where he's like, you know, they're just insects and they're not like us and all of that, to now feeling absolute regret and remorse for every single horrible thing that he's done on Earth and other planets before it, you know? It's like a complete turnaround for I him. I mean, to go from saying they're just insects to making a baby with, with literally an insect. An insect. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Anyways, you guys, thanks so much for hanging with us. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.